so we can remove v1 uh, v2 now because this was just for demo purposes so let's remove this and let's work mainly in our routes folder over here let's move this and over here so now um, we just did basic get requests so now let's do a post request and do and show you some schema validation that you can do with this um, so over here so what actually fastify also takes a third argument in the middle which will be options so I'll give you an example of what it looks like so options and it's um, and inside options there will be there will be a schema object which will contain the schema of your entire request so it will contain um, query strings um, let me close that in it will take a body um, over here and it can also take in a response over here so now let's give you an example of response so uh, we're trying to say that for 200 requests it will return type object for this and um, it will have specific properties take specific properties over here and let's say this returns um, a specific ID so the type will be of number over here and uh, and yeah so now let's save this we can drop this options in the middle over here um, save that and now let's let's give let, let's go to the post um, request here and see if we still get it so we go to post make this a post request we send this in so yeah we got nothing back over here and i and you're like wait but i but i put in a post over here with hello world why aren't i getting it so this is what fastify builds in to make it really optimized fastify does um schema validation so that's why it can be seen because we mentioned that hey we will send out an id over here with the number so let's try to change that over here so we change this id um to a number let's say one um, save that and go over here and we can hit enter and be like oh okay now we can see the body is because this is what we specifically def defined that um we would send out as a as a response another one is also body which works the same way so it takes in a type and um you can say this type is an object and it will have properties um and this let's let's think of a something um different so post name so we'll do post name and then we will have it of type string obviously and we will make sure these are properly comma off um save that let me take this okay cool so now we get this we send this request and um, it says body should be an object because we don't have any body right now for this post. So now let's add something over here. Let's actually send a body of a post name um, as any name over here. And if we send that in, like it gets it gets pushed through correctly. Um, we can also extract the the request from it so we can extract the data from it so const data is equal to request dot body dot um what was it it was post name over here so post name and we can change let's change this to name for now and change this to string and we can pass in the data over here so now the same thing we send in is the same thing we get out so now let's put that in send that in and oh, we forgot to um, put this as the post name over sorry the name over here save that and go back here hit enter and we get now the same body that that's getting put in you can put in anything over here and it will work so that's um 
that's schema validation for you in 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 like a, a little bit just to go over some other features um there's query strings too so you can say hey this will take in an id of type um type number over here and what this actually allows you to do is it actually um, allows you to url bind over here so you can do id and you can extract that id actually let, let's do it right now so we got this number over here let's change this back to id and number and we're gonna we're not gonna send in a body any anymore because now we're sending data through the url um so now we do um request dot params dot id and that's it and then we change this to id because that's what we're we specify that we're gonna return out here so we save that over here go back and then change post to forward slash one and if we hit enter we get our our same number that we passed in and if we change that you see that it does update over here and that's how you url bind okay now moving on to something that's really cool is fastify utilities um so what you can do is you can like whatever functions that you see is useful um, for yourself like you don't want to keep defining it over and over again or you define it in like this one specific file and then you import it everywhere you want to use so what fastify just allows you to do is um, you declare it within the fastify ecosystem and then you can um, you can use it th throughout the entire application so an example would be fastify um, this is how you use it so fastify.decorate and you give it a name so let's do add num and add num will take in will be a function of num1 and num2 and it will pretty much return the the sum of them so num1 plus num2 and now we got this uh, cool little um, utility function um, with fastify using decorate so now what we can do is let's let's use this within the um, get route over here so we do fastify dot now we want to get access to this so what we'll do is we can actually do add num over here and then we can pass in the number and then we can say um, let's um, console log this out so sum equals this and then we can console log the sum save that um, cleans it see how it nicely formats everything and now we can go back here change this to a get request send that in and we can go back here and there um, it um, spits out the sum of three and this is how you can um, pretty much add it and um, you can use it within this this scope here so another thing is um, there's scoping that also happens within um, routes so you can nest this as deeply as possible you can do another fastify.register over here and it can take in the um, it can be another function with fastify and options and done and let's uh, Let's make this a function and over here this, this this will be another scope within here so let's just make another get request and we can um, do this as fastify i'm trying to think let's let's just think a so now we got this route a over here and we can do um two plus two over here so now let me save that this should nicely format it um, due to um, the standard package that i imported oh and another thing don't forget you got to keep calling done within your fasta within your register so fastify knows what's up so now we can go to a over here and go back and we got four over here so that's pretty cool so now this has access to this decorator function over here um, and it can only be accessed down the tree um, children have no access to it i mean siblings have no access to it so if i move it here 
so ch um, siblings and parents don't have access to it so now this doesn't have access to it so it, it will break and if I have another if I have another fastify register down here let's build this another one and let's make this B and let's make this uh, three and let's remove this because we're not registering it and let's save this so now uh, fastify does its thing and we go back here to this uh, initial route that we had and there's an internal service error over server error over here and that's because now it doesn't have access to um, the decorator function that we move down here at this scope and even if we go to the other route over here so if we go to B send that in and we get that same error because it doesn't have access to this but if we go back to the um, if we go back to the register um, to the A route over here let's, let's let's verify go back over here and we and this route works perfectly fine because this utility function is available in this scope well, now you must be like well what if I want it available globally um, so fastify has this neat little thing called um, um, fastify plugins um, you can um, download it through npm so let's do it here npm install fastify um, plugin over here hit enter and let's create a new file here called utility utility.js and let's let's clean some of this up so let me get let me get this out of here save that and over here we can yeah utility which will take in a fastify will take in options and it will take in done and just so I know I'm gonna call done right here um, function isn't spelled properly and over here we can declare oops we can oops we can declare our our decorator over here and at the very bottom we can um, wrap it around our fastify plugin um, but before that we actually need to import it so at the top we'll go here and import fastify plugin um, by requiring it and then calling out the package plugin over here and then at the very bottom we can do our usual modules dot export but in, but instead of exporting just utility we will now wrap it with the fastify plugin um, package that we just imported over here so cool so now this is over there we go to our index.js and we uh, require that over here so utility save that fastify isn't spelled correctly here as usual so we um, change that and this wasn't spelled correctly so we changed that and now um, we can go back to our original routes and we can see that it's being used here it's being used here and it's being used here so now if we go back to our main route and hit enter oh wow it works again and it's adding the two numbers and if we go to a and b2 um, we can we can see that it's the same um, out output so this is this is really cool so this is what fastify plugin allows you to do it allows you to add utilities and stuff to like a global scope for for you to use uh, which is really dope, which is really how other Fastify plugins are used. Like there's a Mongo Fastify plugin, there's a MySQL one that's all made, and a lot of them are made by the, maintained by the Fastify uh, community, um, which is, which, which really ensures that it's kept up to standard um, for Fastify's own liking. Cool, so now that we covered a lot of um, what the basics of Fastify does to just get you up and running with what it does, we're just gonna build a super simple um, REST API that's pretty much a to-do list that you can use um, just to add just to add your to-dos, um, update them to doing, done, and finished, um, deleting to-dos, and stuff like that.